Okay, so welcome back. Let's do a quick overview of what we covered in this course. We started by talking a little bit about why we want to use child themes in WordPress. I talked about some of the obvious reasons and some of the not so obvious reasons as well too. Um, I also did a quick overview of what you need to get started, what are some of the, the skills that you need to have as well as some of the software that you need to have. Um, and then we dove right into creating the structure for our child theme. We did, we went using FTP, we actually created our our folder for our 2012 child theme okay and then within there we created a style sheet um, and then we um, copied and pasted some basic sort of boilerplate information um, of which the only real required stuff was the theme name and the template but then we added some extra stuff just to make it a little bit more custom for us um, once we did that we went and we activated that particular theme within the the WordPress dashboard here. We actually went and we activated that. Um, and then to test it out, we actually added a little bit of a, a customization piece here where we, we changed the background color to red and then we reloaded that and we saw, ah, yes, it's working. And then just, just for good measure, we added a screenshot um, just to make it easier to visually identify our child theme within the themes directory here in the WordPress dashboard. And that screenshot again was just located within our 2012 child theme right here. It's called screenshot.png. Um, uh, so that is a, a sort of a very brief introduction to how you set up your child theme, but I don't want you to think that this is the only thing you can do. I mean, we actually went and we, we did a quick little, you know, we added some CSS here and yes, certainly there's a lot you can do. There's a lot of customizations you can make to a site simply by having access to this, this custom style sheet here. Um, but there's a lot more you can do too. And it's, it's a little bit beyond the scope of this class to get into, uh, uh, PHP, but I do want to leave you with a few resources um, and just some stuff to think about. Um, the The number one resource that I use is the Codex, okay? This is the Codex that is at wordpress.org. The actual, there's a page here that is dedicated to child themes. It's at codex.wordpress.org slash child underscore themes. I would have this bookmarked if I were you. Um, we just covered the first three, uh, the first two items here, why use a child theme and how to create a child theme but there's a lot more to know okay template files we didn't even really I mentioned template files very briefly in passing but again because this isn't a PHP course and I wanted to keep this really accessible we didn't go into actually creating custom template files but that's certainly something that you can do and again if you don't know any PHP this is a really nice way to sort of introduce you to how to use PHP and so we can just move over to CyberDuck here and just to give you an example um, Inside here, inside here's some page templates down here. This is a perfect example of some page templates that are available. We could create our own custom page templates if we wanted to simply by editing some of this PHP in here. There's also functions, okay? We can actually use the functions PHP file. And again, this is if this is beyond what you understand at this point, that's okay. You will get there eventually. I just want to introduce some of these concepts to you though. Um, and there's a lot of really useful information on this page that talks about how the functions.php files work and uh, file works, and particularly in the context of a child theme. Um, there's also things like how do you go about referencing and including other files in your child theme and other use information about post formats and um, how to support right to left languages and all sorts of things like that. Um, this right at the bottom of this page, which is the resource section, probably one of the most useful uh, sections here um, is, is a bunch of links to help you extend your knowledge of working with child themes. This one in particular, how to modify WordPress themes the smart way. If we just open this in a new tab, we see there's an entire site here that is just dedicated to learning and using child themes in WordPress. So this is a fantastic resource. And there's other great resources inside here as well too. So I really recommend that you take the time to have a look through here. Um, you've got a lot to keep you busy just simply using uh, the CSS right here, but ultimately you're probably gonna get to a point where you wanna start experimenting with functions and creating your own custom functions and things like that. And so you will have a lot of fun learning about that. Um, perfect example, just as an example right here, this little proudly powered by WordPress. What if you wanted to edit that? What if you wanted that to be your, you know, maybe a little copyright footer or something like that? You would probably want to go in to, um, 
the, this and you can actually use your child theme now to actually change some of that information in a really elegant way that doesn't that without having to edit your original files up here and so I will leave it like that for now and again to go beyond that would really require kind of a child themes 201 course and maybe soon I'll create a class like that but for now I hope that this has provided you with the basic information that you need to get started with child themes to create your own style uh, child themes and know how they work in the context of WordPress so I hope that that's been helpful to you